the two? I'm ready. Fantastic. All right. So for everyone who, who doesn't already know us or know me, my name is Lily Jagosinski from Move United. And we are really lucky, and I apologize, my dog is just barking if you hear him. Um, but we are, we're really lucky that Dare to Try has partnered with us for five straight sessions. This is our fifth session. And we're also extremely lucky to be a part of the Move United Virtual Leadership Conference, which has had over 1,700 people register. So it's, it's super exciting. It's a great Friday. And we appreciate Dare to Try, who's been partnering with us on this. So if you are not already part of the Move United Virtual Leadership Conference, you can still join. We've got two sessions left as well as a closing keynote, and you can register at moveunitedsport.org and then 2020 Adapt to Achieve Leadership Conference. And um, there's training and education, there's sports specific sessions, and you can all find them on YouTube as well under Move United. And now what I'd love to do is turn it over to Kelly. Um, and just so everyone knows, you are all muted and encouraged to stay muted uh, just to minimize distractions, but please feel free to turn on your camera. And this session will be recorded as well, uh, just for those who aren't able to join us. So Kelly, thank you so much and please feel free to take it away. Thank you. I'm so honored to be here. Um, I appreciate everyone showing up. So just a really quick run through of what to expect for today. Um, we've got about 15 minutes to do our meditation. Um, we're going to just start breathing together. I'm going to do a little bit of a reading. I'm, I'm going to do a reading to get us uh, into our bodies to relax a little bit. And then we'll do a guided meditation. You'll get to do your own uh, self-guided meditation for a little bit. And then we will end with what is called loving kindness. We'll send some love to ourselves out into the world. Um, if you haven't realized, I love love. I think it's really important for all of us to really be connected to our hearts and um, to really be grounded. So um, hopefully you enjoy this. I always start every meditation with, there is absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. Just being here is enough. So I encourage you to get comfortable, whatever that is for you, whether it's sitting, lying down. Um, if you're able, cross your legs if that feels good. If you're able to put your feet on the ground. Um, palms up is very receiving. Palms down is very grounding. But again, whatever feels good for you, um, I want this to be a very relaxing experience for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, make sure doors are closed, phones are off. It'll feel good for 20 minutes, I promise. Um, so go ahead and close your eyes and just breathe normally for now. Really become aware of where your body is. Check in with your shoulders, let them relax. Check in with your belly. We carry a lot of tension here. Just let it go. Check in with your jaw. And just relax. I want you to take a good deep inhale in and really feel the air coming into your lungs, down into your belly, and then letting go, breathing out. And once more, a deep breath in, feeling your center expand and releasing. And as I do the reading, just go ahead and breathe normally and relax. You are a person worthy of love. You don't have to do anything to prove that. You don't have to climb Mount Everest, write a catchy tune that goes viral on YouTube, or be the CEO of a tech startup who cooks every meal from scratch using ingredients plucked from your organic garden. If you've never received an award and there are no plaques proclaiming your exceptional gifts hanging on your walls, you still deserve all the love in the world. You do not have to earn love, you simply have to exist. When we see ourselves and we see life more clearly, we come to rely on that. We remember that we do deserve the blessing of love. A lack of real love for ourselves is one of the most constricting, painful conditions we can know. It cuts us off from our deepest potential for connecting and caring. It is enslavement to powerful but surmountable conditioning. And yet, no matter what bravery we show to the world, most of us have recurring doubts about our worth. 
So why is it so difficult for us to love ourselves? Why is it so much harder to offer ourselves the same sort of care and kindness that we readily dispense to our friends? For one thing, the notion of loving oneself has gotten an undeservedly bad rap, which goes something like this. Self-love is narcissistic, selfish, and self-indulgent. But in the fat, but in but in reality, just the opposite is true. When the airplane cabin pressure is dropping, no one would call it selfish when a father secures his own oxygen mask before helping his child. More broadly, to love oneself genuinely is to come into harmony with life itself and all others. Hold, loving yourself is holding yourself accountable to be the best you can in your life. In other words, when we cultivate tenderness and compassion for our whole of our experiences, the difficult and the hurtful parts, in addition to the triumphs, we naturally behave more kindly and responsibly towards others. And so we begin with ourselves. So with that, I want you to see a ball of light in the center of your chest. And with every inhale, allow this light to expand, filling up this space. And on the exhale, release. So breath in, expansion and breath out, release. And go ahead and just take a couple breaths here on your own. And now we're going to extend this light throughout our entire body. This light is full of warmth, grounding, peaceful, calming energy. And as it passes through each part of our body, we'll be more grounded into the space, into ourselves, into this group. So extend this light up into your throat, up into your jaw, your chin, up into your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, and your forehead, filling up the rest of your head. And extend the light down to your shoulders, down your arms to your elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers. And bring your awareness back to that original ball of light in the center of your chest. And extend this light down into your abdomen and down into your lower belly down into your hips, your thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and your toes. So now as we breathe, it's a full body expansion and contraction of this light, this energy that we've created. And as we move into the self-guided part of our meditation, I invite you to continually come back to this ball of light in the center of your chest, this expansion and contraction of this light. And as your thoughts come in, and they will, over and over, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. When you catch yourself drifting off into a thought, just bring yourself back to center, bring yourself back to that ball of light, and enjoy.
So as we start to come back to the room, we are going to practice what is called loving kindness. And we are going to start with ourselves. So to yourself in your mind's eye, repeat after me. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free. May I be loved. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free. May I be loved. Continue on your own. Now we are going to extend this loving kindness out to another individual. This can be somebody that we're feeling really connected to. It can be somebody that maybe we're having conflict with. It can be a perfect stranger. Bring this person into your mind's eye. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free. May you be loved. Continue on your own. And now we are going to extend this loving kindness out to the world. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be free. May we be loved. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be free. May we be loved. Continue on your own. And now before we close, I wanna do a couple of good deep inhales and exhales. So bring your awareness back to that original ball of light. And on the inhale, expand that light, really filling up your chest, opening your heart. And on the exhale, release, letting go of anything no longer serving you. And once more, inhale in and release. And just start to come back to the room as it feels good. Open your eyes. Well done, friends. So um, that was 17 minutes. Hopefully it felt a little bit shorter than that and you were able to relax. So here's how I always like to end meditations. If that felt really good for you and you did feel in a flow with yourself, you feel calm, congratulations. If that was hard, you felt uncomfortable, maybe you were a little anxious, congratulations. It's all the same. Um, I know we have a lot of athletes in this group, so it's the same thing as if you were training for an event, you wouldn't <laughs> Do it once and then think you're gonna, you know, be able to do a, do as well as you'd like to. So it's the same thing with meditation. Um, it takes practice. So sometimes it's amazing. I still have days where it's really uncomfortable, but just showing up today is really beautiful. Thank you. I'm so honored that I was invited. You're all lovely. Be happy. Send some love out into the world. We need it. So thank you. Thank you, Kelly. This is Lily speaking. And we really just want to say we appreciate your time and energy. And it's the perfect way to end a Friday, uh, especially after a long day. If you've been attending the Move United Leadership Conference, 
uh, we've been speaking all day and listening and to just sit for a moment and not have to think about anything and really kind of find our own awareness. It's, it's fantastic. We needed it as well. Uh, so if you are interested in following Kelly on social media, her Instagram handle is K-E-L-L-Y-M-A-H-E-R underscore A-W. And you can see all the different things that she's working on on Instagram. We also wanted to encourage you to check out Dare to Try. They have weekly and daily workouts there. And we appreciate that they come on for this five-part series. And it just happened to be during the leadership conference. So you can check out their different training sessions at www.daretotry.org. And we know that we just had our Mind Your Mind session today, and hopefully um, we'll have some future sessions in the future. But um, at this point in time, our session has completed. Uh, we have added a survey at the bottom of our chat. And so if you're able to take that quick survey, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what we can work on. We're always trying to improve our programs. So thank you again, and we hope that you're able to attend the rest of the Move United Leadership Conference. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We will stay on just for a few more moments to make sure that people get that link. But otherwise, we hope you have a nice day and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. And thank you, Kelly, and Dare to Try. Thank you.